Hello friends, today I am talking about the basics of uh, the real numbers and uh, this basics is uh, so needful for uh, real analysis uh, this is, uh, it's about sets and functions now we are talking about definitions of some sets and functions that uh, so first of all the definition of a set now a set is a well defined collection of objects called the elements or the members of the set okay let's have an example like uh, we take the example of a finite set finite set just like a 1 2 3 4 it is a finite set uh, some infinite sets are like uh, first of all natural number natural numbers the set of natural numbers is denoted by capital N you know that 1 2 3 2 2 2 infinite next integers the set of integers which is denoted by Z is or I okay uh, next rational numbers this q q means quotient this p by q where p is belongs to z and q is belongs to n or also we can write this as p by q where p and q both belong to z and q is not equal to 0 next the set of real numbers real or something you can say that r it is a a, A1, A2, A3, up to up to up to up to, where A belongs to Z, and AI belongs to 0, 1, 2, up to up to up to 9, for every I. Okay? Now, the set of complex numbers it is uh, x plus i y where x comma y belongs to r and we know that i is equal to under root of minus 1 now suppose uh, we have to take uh, very few example like the P or Q some set okay suppose Q is the set of the a pen a bench a book searching It is not a well defined set. Now, okay, next it's the definition of the subset. Now, what is subset? Suppose A and B are two sets, okay? Then A is subset of B. If X is some component, it belongs to A such that X is also belongs to B next third definition is equality 
what is equality a is equal to b we can say that a is equal to b if and only if that is a subset of b and b subset of a note that this is the uh, some infinite uh, sets are subset of each other like n subset of z subset of q subset of r Since the, we know the empty set phi, this contains no elements. It is always a subset of every set A. That is, we can write that phi is a subset of A, any arbitrary subset. Next, union of sets. Suppose A and B are the two sets, then we can write A union B is equal to X where X belongs to A or X belongs to B or both A union A is A we know that and if A subset B then A union B is equal to B because A is subset of B similarly in intersection we know that A intersection B is what nothing but some X where X belongs to A here and X belongs to B and uh, A intersection A is A you all know that and other condition is that if A is a subset of B then A intersection B is equal to A now here if a intersection b is equal to phi which means this both are the disjoint sets okay that is the sets a and b are said to be disjoint then sets a and b are said to be Times. complement of A relative to B okay then uh, we can denote it by B slash A is equal to X where X belongs to B and X is not belongs to A X belongs to B and X is not belongs to A it is also can be denoted by B minus A is equal to similar X belongs to B and X is not belongs to A now not that one thing is that A minus B is not must be equal to B minus A okay and uh, also not that A minus B subset of A and B minus A is subset of B then we can write that 
a minus b intersection b minus a is equal to phi that is null set next null set phi a set which does not include any elements a set which does not include any elements it's called empty set next universal set u or somehow e a set which is which includes all the elements under the discussion okay a set which includes all the elements under the discussion is called universal set okay next complement of a set a dash or a bar a dash or a bar can be denoted as this how is equal to some x where x belongs to u and x is not belongs to a also not that union in some union a union a dash is becomes the union set universal set okay Uh, disjoint sets a and b are disjoint if we know that a and b are disjoint sets if a intersection b is equal to 